So when you talk about human-robot interaction, it's not so much just a robot that has a face that kind of walks around and talks to people. It's much more than that, right? I mean, you're already talking about taxi cabs and, and drivers of this car, so it's really the idea of any type of interaction with a robot from a human perspective. Absolutely, and you, already, you raised one of those issues, robot systems. And I think that a lot of HRI has focused very much on psychological studies of what happens between one robot and one person. But if you look at commercialization, and my goal, my role with Silicon Valley Robotics has been to help with the commercialization of a lot of robotic startups. And of course, you're trying to increase the um, spread of a technology. So you're not ever really in a situation of talking about one robot, one person interactions. You're talking about multi interactions, multiple robots, multiple people. And you're talking about things that need to include duration as well. So I felt that HRI is great as far as it goes, but for people to consider that that is the only way to look at how how we're going to interact with robots is really missing many of the other dimensions and durations. You know, there's very little funding for things like a long-term study. So um, there was one particular one that studied people's feelings about Roombas in their life over a period of weeks rather than the one-off kind of interaction. And when you did that, it completely overturned a lot of the papers that were saying people respond this way to robots that do this and people respond that way to robots that do that. And I thought, to me, that captured exactly where we're going wrong is we take these little snapshots and we think that it's giving us a full panorama and it's not. Yeah, that, that's common in a lot of studies that you see actually, right? It's, it's always, you, you're digging in to try to find that one area but you're not really taking the whole perspective of actually what's going on. So you, you shoot in on that area and you say, ah, this is the exact result that I was looking for. I set up the study in such a way that I kind of forced my hand to be able to get something like that. But the reality is, like in the grand scheme of things or a longer term study, you'll realize that it's, it's actually quite the opposite. Mm. Well, I think robotics is very flawed in not being a science. It's an engineering discipline and most papers are not reproducible. And I'm talking well beyond HRI. It's really every area. This was one of the things that Willow Garage was very strongly about changing that paradigm by creating a a common robotics platform mm -hmm. and then a common robotics operating system so you had a greater chance of being able to take somebody else's research and replicate it and ideally get the same results. Sure. And that's been pretty much lacking in the field of robotics. And for those people who don't know, Willow Garage is also the creators of ROS, which is a widely used platform for pretty much any robotics company that's starting within the last 10 years or so. Absolutely. It's now, uh, I think in the last five years, it's gone from being used by companies that knew Willow Garage to being used by pretty much every startup that I'm in contact with. And it may not be being used at their commercial release level, mm -hmm. but it's being used in the development stages at the very least.